¡Fenomenova! out here, the beautiful sky, the nice trees, the beautiful butter. Whoa! It was just a dream. It's just a dream with beautiful butterflies everywhere, which is awesome because we're gonna talk about butterflies today. But before we start our butterfly experiment, please grab this bag. The bag to grab is the one that has the paper that's shaped like a butterfly, a whole bunch of pipe cleaners, bag of glue, and among a whole bunch of other stuff inside of it. This is the bag that we need. And also from the envelope, you will find a piece of paper that says flower pollination and a picture of a flower on it. We definitely need that from the envelope and not include it. We need these parts, which is, uh, we need a paper towel, any paper towel will do, a pair of scissors, and a cup of water. So, once you got all those, let's get back to talking about these butterflies. They're very beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are, and they are everywhere. You can find them everywhere, maybe even as you're walking around at the park. You can see it in the mountains, in the jungle, in the desert, in the forest, even in our own cities. They're in every single continent, except Antarctica. Mm -hmm. But them being everywhere, these butterflies are just like other insects and insects go through their life cycles right where they start off as the egg and turn into the larva then into the pupa and finally into the adult which we call the complete metamorphosis the same thing happens with these butterflies again they start off as the egg they hatch out of the egg into the larva and the butterfly larva is what we call a caterpillar now caterpillars they have six true legs and ten Pro legs, which later on would go away once they become the adult butterfly. But once they are caterpillars, they're eating machines <laughs> all day long. They're eating everything. In their lifespan, about two to four weeks that they are caterpillars, they eat up to about 27,000 times their own body weight and they eat everything that they see in sight, including the first thing that they see, which is the eggshell. <laughs> they even eat that. And most caterpillars are herbivores. What that means is that they usually eat the plants, but some don't just stop there. They see another insect and some even eat other insects. <laughs> but they have a good reason as to why they're eating all of these things. It's to prepare them for their metamorphosis into becoming the adult butterfly. Now, in the process of becoming an adult butterfly, there has to be the stage in between, which is called the pupa. So to turn into a pupa, what these caterpillars would do is they would produce some silk. And to do that, they produce the silk in their salivary glands, and that silk is used to make their cocoon or chrysalis. And they will be inside of that cocoon or chrysalis for about 5 to 21 days. But after that, they come out being a beautiful butterfly. So now that we talked all about these caterpillars and their life cycles, let's make one. Let's make our caterpillar. And these are the parts that we're going to be needing. We need the rubber bands. You should have two colors, three of one and three of the other. And then we also need the googly eyes, the foam body part. And also there are pipe cleaners that we'll be needing, two yellow and six black pieces. And with all of these, we will be able to build our caterpillar. So the first thing that we could do together is we can start to put the rubber bands around the body. So all we need to do is just take your rubber bands, put them around your fingers like this or, uh, and stretch it out and just put it on top. When you do that, um, I like to double tie it. Okay, so just like before, the way we double tie is stretch out the rubber band, twist your hand so that it goes to the other side like that. You could kind of see an X in, in the middle then just wrap that part of the rubber band back around to the other side. So we want to do this in interchanging color, but technically you could do it however you want, but I'm gonna do it in interchanging color, meaning first is this one, then is this one. So we're gonna do the next one kind of next to it, okay? Like that, and then same thing, double tie it, stretch it out, twist it, 
wrap it around. That's two. And you could always scoot it over once you've put it on. Then the next color, right? Remember interchanging, stretch it out, twist it over, wrap it over, and switch to a different color. Do it again, stretch it out, put it on there, stretch it out, twist, and wrap. And almost done. See how I'm interchanging my colors? And last one. Stretch it out, put it on there, keep it stretched, twist, and wrap over. So now that we did that, I like to kind of even mine out. So let's just kind of move these so that they are about even away from each other. Hey, ta-da! Then what we're gonna do next is we are going to be putting in the legs. Now this is also pretty easy. And the way that we're gonna be doing this is you're just gonna poke straight through the foam to the other side. But the best way to poke this through is don't hold it on the edge that is away from the body. You wanna poke close to where you're about to poke. See how I'll put my finger right there instead of on the other side? This is gonna make it bend. And it's okay if it bends. Just make it straight and to just make it easier on us, just keep it close to where you're about to poke. Poke it in there a little bit at a time. Poke it and keep on poking. And eventually it's gonna come out. Once it comes out, then bend it downward. You can see it's starting to look a bit like legs. Hey, so. Next one, do the same thing in the next section that is next to it. Poke it through, bend it down, just like that. Then keep on going for the rest. Poke it through, right, bend it down. Almost done, poke it through, and bend it down. Poke it through, and bend it down. And then you can decide where you want to put the last one, whether it's in the front or the back, up to you. But same old, same old, poke it through and bend it down. Okay, so now we got the legs. Now we're gonna put the facial features, okay, which are, we're going to be putting on the antennas right on the very top. So with the yellow, just poke it anywhere on the top, just like that, poke it through. And then with the antennas, I'm gonna bend mine forward so it makes it really look like antennas. And poke it through, same thing. Look at that, just like that. And the last thing is we're gonna put the eyes. We're gonna put the eyes, and I'm gonna put the eyes on the side of this foam body part, okay? So with this one, we gotta pop it out. But first, before we even pop it out, we have to peel off the white part of this sticker because it's a little sticker, as a matter of fact, so we don't need to use any glue. But you gotta peel off the white piece of paper, see that? But even though we peeled it off, there, the googly eye is still on there, but now we're able to pop it off. So if you use your thumb and you poke it through from one side, you'll hear it pop and you just take it off and stick that onto your caterpillar on the side. See? Ba -bang. Stuck it right onto the side. Same thing with the next one. Pop it out. Once you pop it out, take your googly schmoogly and put it on the other side and, and now i've got my caterpillar ready it's got the six true legs and the extra legs as well which later on goes away once it becomes an adult butterfly but here is our caterpillar as we mentioned before when these caterpillars come out of the cocoon or the chrysalis they become the adult butterflies well guess what there is Tons of different types of butterflies. There's about 180,000 different types of butterflies and they don't really live that long. Some can live up to just about 10 days. So the next time you see a butterfly, you know, you wish him well in his very short lifespan. But in any case, these butterflies are very, very beautiful. And just like other insects, they have the same body parts. They have three body parts, right? The head, the thorax, the abdomen. They also have six legs. They also have antennas. And one thing that's very beautiful about these butterflies is that they have wings, specifically four wings made out of very colorful scales. And another cool thing about these butterflies is that they cannot fly in the cold. Anytime you see a butterfly just resting, yeah, maybe he's resting a little bit, but also they're trying to warm up their body so that they can fly again. And another cool thing about these butterflies is that they can taste 
not with their tongue, but with their feet. I can't do that. But now that we talked about all of these cool things about the butterflies, let's make one. So let's make our butterfly. We need these parts. We need the wax antenna inside of a bag, the plastic body part of our butterfly, the wings, the color tubes, the pipette, and the cup of water. So these are all the parts that we are going to be needing. So first thing is first, we are going to be putting the wings into the body. Now, if you notice, there's only a very small opening in the plastic body that we're gonna fit this whole thing into, so it's not gonna fit. And so we were going to have to fold it back and forth. Okay, so when you fold it, we're not gonna fold it in half because that's still not gonna fit into there. So probably into thirds or into even fourths. But when you fold it, Fold it one way and then fold it the other way. And then fold it the other way, back and forth like that. And as long as you have a small sliver of uh, the wing like this folded together so that it will fit right through that little uh, hole, then you're good. So once it's like this, then, well, let me show you the other way. Just put it through that hole and just scoot it in, scoot it in. Not all the way, just to the middle. And once it's in the middle, then you could finally start to unravel the wings uh, that are folded together inside of there. One on one side and the other side as well. As much as you can. Okay, there we go. Then once we do that, then we're going to be putting on our wax antenna, which is this little guy. First thing to do, open up the bag. Take it out of the bag. And this wax is on there so that it will stay inside once it goes into the top little holes right there that you can see. But it could be a little bit tricky in putting in. So if it doesn't just immediately fit into the hole, then what we need to do is we need to take off a little bit of the wax from the tip. So what I do is I kind of twist it while pulling. And what that does is it takes off a little bit of the wax onto my other finger. We just want it to be thin enough so that it will fit right through that little hole that we see here. As long as you just do the tip, that's all you need to do because you don't need to do everything else to make it fit through to the other side. Mine's still not fitting, so I'm going to take off a bit more of that wax until it's thin enough to go through. Let's try that. There we go. And ta-da! As long as you get it through, you're good and try to get it in the middle of the plastic body part. Okay, so now we got two ends of the antenna. You could leave it like this or you could kind of coil it. Okay, so you just kind of turn it, either turn it around your finger or turn it around a pen or a pencil. But once you do that, you see how it kind of like coils around like that, which is pretty cool. If you want to, again, totally up to you. Again, you could do it around a pen or pencil or just around your finger, just as long as it's turning or coiling, kind of like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, now is the cool part. We're going to be coloring our, our wings because remember, these butterflies have those four wings with a very colorful scales all over them. And so they're always really awesome, different colors. So that's why we have these color tubes that are inside of here. So just go ahead and open that up and take it out. And once you take it out, you got three different colors that you can take out of these. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna pop the tube, use the pipette, take that, suck it out and dip it wherever you want. Now, technically while you're doing that, you don't really have to clean out the pipette. So, um, here, let me just take some first. So remember, squeeze, let go, and then just start squirting wherever you want. Maybe some over here, over there, over there. Okay, and then uh, you could technically just keep on using this same tube with another one if you don't mind mixing colors. But if you do, if you just want just the next color, then squirt out that water into the, this little water cup over here and try the next one. Okay, just take a little bit, spread it around over here, over here, over here. But again, if you're okay with mixing it, then just go ahead and you don't have to dip it into the water cup. But I'm just gonna take a bit of this blue and put some over here. Put it wherever you want. 
make your butterfly whatever color that you want. Okay, let me try again my yellow. You can even put it on top of other colors that you already put onto there. So let's try yellow over here, over there, over here. Oh, I'm getting a bit of green going on. Right? A little bit more. And we'll call it there. Get a bit of red. Yep. But what we're doing here is we're just changing its color, making it really, really, really colorful, just like the butterfly's four wings, which are made of tiny, really, really colorful wings and scales, right? So once you're done, you could set your butterfly on top of the paper towel, right? That was not included, right? And you just leave it there so that it could dry. Also, you can leave the paper towel uh, underneath your butterfly while you paint, and that way you don't get any of the color to seep into your table or anything like that. And if you have some extra color, you could uh, use any sort of coffee filter, any sort of very thin paper, kind of like this coffee filter, and then do the same thing that we did with uh, this butterfly, right? Just take the color, put it on the filter, and see it become very colorful, like how we have it with this little tiny butterfly. But there we go with our awesome looking butterfly. What do you think about pollination? You usually imagine bees, you usually think about bees, but guess what? Butterflies also help out in pollinating other plants because butterflies usually consume nectar, okay? So when they fly around just like bees or go around from flower to flower, they land on the flower to drink the nectar. But while they do that, they pick up a bit of the pollen, the pollen attaches to them, but then they don't just stay there, they would fly to another flower, land over there and drink the nectar there too. But while they do that, they might have dropped off some pollen or picked up some more pollen while flying around to other flowers. So again, it's not just the bees that do this, but also the beautiful butterflies that do this as well. So in our next experiment, let's see how this pollination works with these bees. And now we're gonna see how these butterflies help with pollination by doing this pollination experiment. So let's grab these parts, grab your pair of scissors, the bag of glue, the flower pollination page, the bag of powder, it looks like glitter a little bit. This is gonna be our pollen. And then this is going to be our butterfly leg, right? Which is this pipe cleaner that we have here. Okay, so these are all the parts that we're gonna be needing. First thing we wanna do is we wanna put on the glue and follow the outline of the image of our flower petal that is right here. Okay, so what we wanna do is just grab the bag of glue. We're gonna cut a little piece off of the corner and just go ahead and squeeze it while following and tracing the image of this flower. So first thing we wanna do is just turn, like usual, your bag of glue to the side and try to squeeze some of that glue out of the way so that we can cut a piece off of that corner. Now, you could do a small piece, a super tiny piece. I'm gonna do somewhere in the middle. Okay, not too big so we don't waste all of our glue. And for some reason, if you do run out of glue, just use your own glue from your glue bottle. And uh, anyway, we're going to just squeeze that out and remember, follow the line. Try to trace the line and follow the black line as much as you can. Okay, got the circle in the middle. You could do however you want. Follow whichever part, but just follow every single part. Make sure you put the glue on every part of the flower. And over here, and over there, and over here, and come back to over here. And there we go. So we've got the sticky part uh, onto our flower pollination page. And if you got a lot of extra glue, you can Put some more on the flower, right? So here I got very thin petals, so guess what? I could double up on that, right? Get some more on that, get some more in the middle, get some more on the outside, even just the rest. And it's okay if you put a lot, because eventually what's gonna happen is this is gonna hold on to all of the pollen that we're gonna be putting on top of it. And eventually all of that pollen and the glue is gonna dry. And once it dries, you could actually peel it off, which I will show you in just a second. But 
that's a good enough amount of glue onto there. Next, we're gonna be taking this bag of pollen that we have and have our butterfly come on over and pick up some of the pollen. Because remember, they come from flower to flower, not for the pollen, but they came for the nectar. But while they're there, the pollen attaches to their leg or to their body. And while they do that, while it does that, well, they're able to pick it up and drop it off to other flowers pollinating them and so that's what we're going to do we're going to take our butterfly leg and scoop it into there and just kind of like a spoon scoop it and pour it out onto our flower pollination page that we have here so just go ahead and scoop it up and drop it on and just keep on doing that scoop it and drop it and scoop it and drop it and if it's not if it's not scooping up enough then you could kind of close it so it doesn't have too much of a hole see that and do it again Get some more, and yeah. Or you could just scoop it like a spoon. Make sure you get all parts of the flower. Don't just get one part of it, okay? Make sure you get all parts of the flower. Each part has enough of the pollen on it. Like how you see Mega Manoa doing here. Yeah, just make sure you get all parts and try to get any part that's a little bit empty as well because you got a lot of pollen and there we go with the help of the butterfly we've put pollen onto our flower just like what they do in real life right and so once it's done what we could do here is we're just going to kind of wiggle it back and forth now you want to be careful when you do this okay so you will just want to fold it inward like this and then just slowly <laughs> you don't want that to happen you can hold the wax paper slowly tilt it to one side slowly tilt it to the other side that way we kind of evenly spread the pollen everywhere okay and then once that's done you can put that on any sort of paper or on top of your trash can and just kind of hold it like this okay fold it and kind of tap your pollen page so that it comes off of your paper see again if i do it this way i just tap it and then most of that the residue the remainder amount of pollen that's not stuck on the glue will just come right off and Ta -da! now we've got our flower that has some pollen because of the butterfly now what's cool about this is once you're done don't touch it let the glue dry because eventually what's going to happen is that it's going to dry of course but what you could do is you could actually start to peel it off of the wax page look at that right you could have eventually a really nice looking flower that is made from pollen but do you remember who put the pollen onto there was it me no it was the butterfly and look at that all by itself we've got a flower that was pollinated by the butterfly Pretty cool stuff about all of these butterflies and caterpillars and their whole life cycle of complete metamorphosis. I certainly had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And until next time, this has been Mega Manoa, and I will see you in the fields of the flowers, just enjoying the breeze and the sun. Ah!